Hey everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. In this session, we will be exploring about a wonderful opportunity, especially for research internship purpose. Recently, IITB research internship about 2023 and 24 application are currently open. So let's see who can apply to this fellowship, what are the eligibility criteria and the selection processes and how you can apply to this internship program. So let's get started. As you know, IIT is a prestigious institute of India which are known for its educational and research expertise. So getting a research internship from such institute would be a great opportunity for young students. This award is specifically research project based training. Availability of the projects are on the official website of IITB. Get the ideas about the ongoing projects which you can take part in depending on your research background and your interest. And that's the reason the number of positions for this award varies each year depending on the availability of the project. The good part is that during this project, which usually is around 4 to 6 months, you are going to get a stipend of rupees 15,000 per month. So let me tell you a few of the important dates. As I mentioned, the application is currently open and you can apply for this application till 30th August. So you still have time to prepare your application and apply. If you get shortlisted, the date of interview usually is around 3rd October to 11th October. And tentative date of joining this internship would be around 26 December to 5th January. This research internship based award is specially designed based on the R&D focus and to upskill you in the technology driven area. Student and faculty conduct research projects in various areas of science and engineering. And most of the biological based subjects are also included here. Most of our audience are from biotech and bio IT. So you are eligible to apply for this fellowship app. So let's see who can apply and which are the available projects. Kindly visit the official site and go to the available project section. And in the drop down section, you can go to the select department. And based on your individual subject choices, you can see which are the project which is available where you can take part in so let me show you for biosciences and bioengineering so you can see these are different professors and these are different project areas where you can join so like if you are interested in host pathogen infraction or uh, in the optical brain imaging similarly in bacteriophiles kind of therapeutic work so you can explore and see these professors and their project so once you will click those sites, you will get the ideas about the supervisor, the title of the project, the brief description about the research project and uh, what are the expected outcomes from the projects. They will also tell you what are the possible learning outcomes if you get selected as intern on those projects. So have a look, go through those uh, pages and decide wisely which research internship programs you want to choose based on your academic background and research internship. Now coming to the selection procedure, as this is based on academic background and screening of your application and also based on the interview. They are going to screen you based on your academic performance during your school and university time. They will also consider your work experience, academic record, your, your participation and recognition in other competitions such as Tech Fest, Olympiad, National Talent Search examinations. And finally, if you get shortlisted, so based on your performance during the interview round, you will also get the return train fuel, especially for the outstation candidate if you get selected for the interview. And these research internships will only be conducted at the IATB under the supervision of IATB professors and faculties. Only one proposal from one faculty member will be considered. Unfortunately, on-campus accommodation cannot be provided during this research internship. So you have to make your own arrangement for accommodation. Let's see how you can apply for this internship program. The application process is online, so you have to visit this official web page of IATB. I will put the link in this description section. So please have a look. And prior to applying for this internship, please make sure to go through the guidelines and see the eligibility criteria and project and supervisor details. So let's see the eligibility criteria. 
So if you are a second year of your master program or fourth year of your bachelor program, then you are eligible to apply for this internship. You should be in the top 10% of your previous examination in that particular discipline and a certificate from your principal from your college university will be required. The prescribed format is given in the website. Kindly download and get it signed from your principal that need to be submitted. The duration of this fellowship will be around 4 to 6 months. So it's roughly around December to June. So you should be available during that period of time. So make sure that you are having commitment and availability during that uh, period of time. Uh, once you've been selected for this internship, you have to submit a partial project report around April and also after the completion of your internship around June. And you have to work for full time for this internship and part time internship is not actually allowed. So once you are okay with the eligibility criteria, kindly visit the official web and go to the how to apply section and you will find out this link for application. Just click there. Prior to that, you have to register there, which is mandatory and complete the registration tip, get your login and password and then click on the IITB Research Internship Award 2023. Let's see what are the application requirements. So along with this application, you also require to upload statement of purpose around 500 characters describing your research interests and your goals, how you are going to utilize this opportunity. You need to answer questions like why you are interested in this particular project, what specific background skills and experience you have which are overlapping for this particular project, what is your long-term career plan and how this project is going to support you in getting that long-term career plan. So you be prepared for answering these things in advance. So you can customize the statement of purpose to make it uh, interesting. So it will enhance the probability of selection based on your application and the interview. They are going to select the suitable candidate and they are going to notify these things at the official website. I hope you have liked the session and you are going to apply for this research internship timely and do share these information among your scientific endeavor. Thank you.